All right, so uh, recently, the Lumarink has released an official tier list. I think if you qualified, you could submit your own like tier list or something, or like rate a character like one out of 10. I don't really remember specifically what happened, but I do remember being invited to take this little tier list thing. Now, there's a lot of problems with this tier list, I feel a lot of people would say. However, this is, you know, this is voted on by a lot of quote unquote verifiable people. Now I know what you're thinking. This tier list is that's what a lot of people initially want to say. But I see Zerusu at like number 30, give or take, right now. And I feel like she could be a little bit lower. So it's a garbage list is what I'm saying. Uh, I was thinking, you know, I'll give some of my opinions on the matter. Snake is so high. Yeah, I don't understand Snake being top five. I don't know who thought that was okay. Snake is not top five. He is certainly not better than like Rob or Aegis. And I don't even think Sonic is number two, if I'm being completely honest either. I think Sonic is just really good and i do think sonic is good as well but i uh, gotta give credit where it's due sonic is an insane player he brings that he elevates that character way higher than people think diddy's too high i don't think diddy's too high that character just tool wise is absolutely insane i do think that s tier should be a little more exclusive this is implying that there is like a character quality gap here right because that's how i think about it like s tier like your character is insanely good you can basically solo main them is how I would read this. Like, I don't think there's that big of a gap between Kazuya and Joker, right? So it's a little blurry. S tier is just top 10, I guess. People kind of forget the part where like you tier the characters, not necessarily like numerically. When you think of a character, you should be like, oh, this, this character has the qualities of an S tier or like an SS tier, you know? Like, I feel like Loki, the only character that is S tier is Steve. Like he is just, there is a gap between Steve and then the next best character. I truly believe that. I feel like K. Rool is at least top of D. I don't know, dude, K. Rool's kind of garbage. It's really hard to argue low tiers. There's not a lot of results to go off of. We Fit is criminally low. Where is We Fit? Oh, um, yeah, I agree. I think We Fit's like B tier. I think Young Link is better than that. Greninja's better than that. I think Olimar is better than that. Mega Man as well. Mega Man is just a character. I mean, he actually kind of got power crept. Meta is not very nice to him. He does not do very well against a lot of those top tiers. And Wario better than Terry. Yeah, that's a little crazy. That's like Wario is another one of those characters where Gluto again just extremely elevates that character's position. Like Bayonetta in A tier is kind of weird to me. If this list came out like two years ago, Corrin would be in D tier. The times they change things. The times they change. Like this tier list is crazy. I saw a bit of the video with him and Meister and I saw he put like Zero Suit in like the top 20 or whatever. Like he put her in top tier and I was done watching after that. I know at that point that your opinion is no longer verifiable and you should shut the f up. I think one of the biggest things right is there's always this like debate between Lucina and Marth and it's interesting to see how much better people think Lucina is than Marth. Unless you're Pinkfresh or Marcus and you put like Marth higher than Lucina and you know maybe maybe it's a good thing that you have like a wife and kid and you should stay away from the game. Krom, one spot higher than Marth is crazy to me. It's crazy that people think Krom's that bad. Mute has Krom bottom three. Mute has very skewed opinions, we'll say that. Uh, agree on the Pac-Man placement? Um, yeah, I think so. But also that whole area is like pretty sketchy. Like I think Mario and Wolf are like very strong. NPT as well. These two tiers right here are like impossible to debate and be correct about, it's just insane. Pikachu is crazy for putting an eight here. Like Yoshi's better than Pikachu? What? Is Yoshi Dora really that guy? Like, I don't know, man. Samus is not better than both Palu and Pika. I mean, I can see it, dude. I think Samus is insane. Samus is like the Diddy Kong of high tiers. You know what I mean? Like you just play your own game and everyone works around it. You don't really get to switch up what you're doing that much. What are like the top five characters that have like switched around the most out of like any character? Like I think the first character I think of is like, I remember at the beginning of the game, Inkling was crazy broken. Inkling's B tier, mid tier character now. Another character that's shifted a lot, Pichu. Poor thing. Palutena, Palutena was arguably top five. Then she got nerfed. And now she's mid. She's a high tier. Game & Watch raised so much. That's true. Game & Watch was like not on the map at all until my stay. And it took him a while to like start doing stuff. Hold on, so I said Pichu, I said Inkling, we said Game & Watch, we agreed on that. What's like the most dramatic changes though, you know, like? Krom maybe? I don't think people ever thought Krom was like broken. I thought, well actually I thought he was gonna be like top 10. Like when someone explained to me that it's just Roy's moves with no sour spots, I was like, how is that balanced? And then they gave him a recovery. DK higher for sure. Maybe, like, like the problem with ultimate is that some days your top eights look like only eight people in S tier. And then sometimes your top eights look like you got DK and Incineroar in there. Sometimes a random Kirby decides to turn up and this dude's in D minus tier. It's all like a gamble. 
Like if you play these S tiers, you should hypothetically be like top eighting or performing really well. And then when you play anything below S tier, it's a toss up because like there's characters like Yoshi who struggles against D tier Ike or you know D tier Simon Belmont. You know, I'm just using examples. I don't know if those are necessarily true, but that's what I'm talking about. Cloud, yeah, a perfect example, Cloud. Top of A tier, loses to D, okay. I'd say like the worst matchup here, like for the S tiers, it's probably like Fox losing to like Kirby and that's it. Like none of these characters are gonna be in S tier. Really shouldn't happen. Yeah, Min Min Puff, yeah, that's another, that's a good example too. That one's actually just winning for Puff. That's crazy. You just hit him once. Ken Ryu not being A tier is wild to me. They're like exploitable, exploitable Shotos. Just gimp them. Most characters can gimp those two. ZSS and A tier. Wrong. Listen, all these characters up here are better than Zero Suit. Shake? Maybe not Bayonetta. Bayonetta is arguable. I don't think that's the case. Hell, I don't even know if Corn is the case. These two, a little questionable to be above Zero Suit. You know who is above Zero Suit? Young Link, Cheek, Olimar, and Greninja. None of the other characters though. So Zero Suit's not even top 30. Sorry guys, it's the truth. There's been like no good Zero Suit results last year, except for the two tournaments I went to and they weren't even good results. I only got top eight ones. I listened to Leo and Meister talk about Zero Suit and they're like, she's really fast. And sometimes her moves don't work and that's what's holding her back. We don't play the same game. Get the fuck out of here, this character Most predictable, fucking no damage dealing at she Leo said she does a lot of damage, like her combos are crazy. Let's think a little about this, okay? Like, okay, she's fast. You know who else is fast and does combos? Roy, his combos ended about like 50 and then in the next two interactions you could die. Foxes do about 60 to 70, and in the next three interactions or so, you'll die. A character who's slow and has combos, Snake, can do like 50. Yeah, Sonic does insane damage. He's the, like one of the fastest. Zero Suit combo damage averages out to about 30. On your best combos, Nair, up air, sorry, Nair, up smash, back air, like 29, 30 damage, maybe 35. But that is your only good combo. And then after that, you get up air strings. Now, if you're getting up air strings, <laughs> At top level, it doesn't matter. You're fine, just don't die. It's zero suit. The most, the most controversial part of this tier list is probably the low tiers, I'm not gonna lie. You're, you're kind of right, actually. I mean, it, it does make sense that the, like, you know, the top players that submit their like opinions on these rankings, they would understand the top tiers and high tiers better. There's still some questionable choices up there, like Snake, like we talked about. I think that I, I'm still not really a Game & Watch believer. Sonic's too high. He could probably be a little bit lower. Yoshi a little high. But then you get to the low tiers and it's like, yeah, Krom's like barely better than Marth. You know, Donkey Kong's about as good as like Isabel. It's like, I don't know if those things really make sense. You know, like if you just like look at their placement on a tier list, you can just kind of like nod your head and agree. But then you start comparing, right? Like Ike worse than Mewtwo? Is that true? I don't know about that. I think Mart's better than Lucina. You don't get any more opinions then. That's just how that works. I'd like to see Shiny Mart go to more tournaments because I feel like he's pretty damn good. I'd like to see him perform well and put Pika back on the map. I'd like to see Esam do it too. I mean, say what you will. I, I would rather see Pika in these top eights than most of these characters. I, maybe I just miss Pika. Maybe I miss watching Pikachu combo someone to like 60% and then get like a weird hit of that like they're playing against like a samus and they get hit by a weird hit of dash attack and die at like 50 somehow i missed that that was funny to me is min min really that good that's hard to say there's like counter pick characters that are just really hard to deal with like min min is like playing her own game so it's hard to put her somewhere out like kazi is just doing his own Thing. He's not playing Smash. We're not playing the same game as each other. So how do you like rank them against each other? It's very hard to do. You get to you get to kind of like read some of these comments in the chat and just kind of like roulette. Like that message right there. Sora and Wario better than Terry LMAO. So like Brandon Curry, which one of those do you play? You know, like because you definitely you would only have that opinion if you've played one of those characters. You know, how is Ness worse than Toon Link? This sounds like a f Toon Link player right here. PT is a character that's fallen from grace. He was like top five, but I still think. PT is like S tier. I think PT like belongs next to like Cloud and like Samus. That's a lot of ranks up. I wish Tweak picked up PT again. No, I am so glad that there's not a lot of PT players. I'm gonna say it, PT's boring. You use the same like three moves with each character. Casuals will be like, Charizard's so high. He does Nair and then he does Flare Blitz. And then you go boom. And it's like, wow, he took such a huge risk. And it's like, no, if you position Flare Blitz like wisely, you just, you really won't get hard punished for it. 
You might get punished, but like, yeah, nah. Tell me the wackest place character on this list, big dog. Gotta be DK, get my boy like right up here, right next to Fox. DK, on a Monday too? If it was Monday, I'd say DK goes in like S minus. Every other day of the week though, I'd put him a little higher. If you want my honest opinion though, Crom over here next to Pichu and Marth is unfair. That is just not the case. K rule? No, K rule fing sucks. Ganon's too high. <laughs> True. Gabriel sucks when he's better than DD. I love this chat. We need to start arguing about trash. Who's more bottom three? K rule or King DD? Like from Ganondorf to like me, Sword Fighter, is probably like you can argue any order for these characters. But these are definitely the worst characters in the game. It's cool because if you turn Wi Fi on, those characters get bumped up to like B tier. K rule has the most untapped potential. He's probably got some Steve untapped. That might be like top five dumbest messages I've read this year. Ice climbers are like S plus tier. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not an ice climbers believer at all. I think ice climbers are thoroughly mid. Exactly where they belong, it's right there. There's some characters that have a really hard time dealing with like ice climber normals and they can kind of put up the wall of pain and just like prevent you from approaching, but there's still so much like, you can just jump around them and like, if you know how desyncs work, you should be able to, like, find your way in. Did he just lose his to weirdo characters? It's characters that don't have to deal with his Like, if you just... Like, if you don't care about Banana Peel, you probably beat Diddy Kong. You know who doesn't give a f about Banana Peel? Campy, campy, campy characters. Isabel, Duck Hunt, Ice Climbers has some gimmicks that work around it. Like, Rosalina probably doesn't do terribly for that reason. Being tall doesn't help, but I'm not really sure about that matchup. I'm... Swinging for the fences on that one. Again, it, like, they might not, like, totally win because Diddy's normals are still insanely good. Can we all, like, universally agree, though, that Young Link is not B plus tier, dude? He's, like, A at worst. That character's got buttons on buttons on buttons. He, in my opinion, choose to lose. He is ass. Okay. Afro Ninja, if you think Young Link is ass, I have to ask, like, how often do you listen to Tweak Talks? I feel like there's a correlation all the time, and he's my main, and I am ass. All of these things are lining up, Afro Ninja. You suck at Young Link, and you listen to Tweak talk about how Young Link sucks. <laughs> Your opinion card has been revoked. Young Link's just haven't learned to kill. Dude, I don't think that's true. He just has like this barrage of projectiles, right? So you shield them, and it doesn't matter. You don't get any closer to him because Fire Arrow is ridiculously fast. You have to like be aware of his burst options, right? Run up down tilt, run up nair, grab more projectiles if he decides to. So you try to jump over them, get called out with a forward air. The forward air was safe, by the way. If you didn't, if you weren't ready for forward air, then you got f right? And if you were ready for it, you're probably not gonna get a big punish. And like, like playing kill percent versus this guy is impossible. I swear to God, they could just throw out down air. At worst, it'll trade if you try to like contest it. So the obvious answer is like, all right, don't contest down air. And then he's got so many other options. Dude, why does his forward throw kill? Why does Nair ever kill? This character doesn't struggle to kill. We are not about to f Compare Zero Suit up throw and Young Link forward throw. I refuse. They both kick you. Oh, you're actually right. I didn't think about it like that. CSS up throw is more like Wolf back throw. It's a fake kill throw. I think Wolf's back throw is a little bit better, but sure. 